Today, we will continue working on main idea. We'll be using the text called Bears. Before we get started, let's look at a little paragraph that goes along. We need to figure out which sentence from the paragraph states the main idea. There are many types of plastic. A plastic is a material that can change its shape. So many things can be made of plastic. Some plastics are shaped only when they are freshly made. Other plastics can be changed by heating them up or by melting them. Which sentence is the main idea? There are many types of plastic. Many things can be made of plastic. Some can be shaped only when they are freshly made. Well, we know that C is not the answer. Now, does it talk about things that can be made of plastic? A plastic is a material that can change its shape. So many things can be made of plastic. Some plastics are shaped only when they are freshly made. Other plastics can be changed by heating them or by melting them. It does not mostly talk about many things can be made of plastic. So our main idea is A, there are many types of plastic. Let's look to see what is the topic of our text, bears. Well, we know that um, from the title, the topic is gonna be all about bears, but we don't know the main idea yet. Bears are mammals that live in different habitats around the world. Different species of bears live in different habitats. Bears have been around since prehistoric times. Humans have hunted them for their meat and fur. Today, bears are threatened because humans are destroying their habitats. Brown bears are the largest predator. They live in North Euro Northern Europe, Asia, and North America. Brown bears are not always brown. Brown bears in India are red. In North America, they can be a cream color to almost black. They have long and thick fur. They also have large claws. Brown bears are unable to climb trees because their claws are dull. Brown bears range in size and can weigh between 120 to 1,500 pounds. What is the main idea in paragraph four? So let's see. Paragraph one, two, three, four. So let's keep going and read paragraph three. The American black bear lives in North America. They are the smallest and most common bear in North America. Black bears are not always black. They can be white, blonde, or brown. They live in large forests, but sometimes they leave the woods to search for food. They can enter areas people live in to search for food. Black bears can open doors and jars. They are powerful. They can weigh between 90 and 550 pounds. Black bears are omnivores. They eat both plants and animals. Well, now let's figure out what the main idea is of paragraph four. The polar bear lives in an Arctic circle. Along with some brown bears, they are the largest land predator. Polar bears can weigh 770 to 1,500 pounds. Polar bears are white. They have large feet. Their feet help them walk on snow and ice and to swim. Most polar bears are brown on land. They spend most of their time in the ocean. Polar bears are carnivores. Their main food source is seals. Polar bears have adopted to cold temperatures. They have a thick layer of fat that keeps them warm. Polar bears are endangered. Climate change threatens polar bears. The ice they live on is melting. Pollution is also a threat to polar bear survival. So what was paragraph four mostly about? Well, it was talking a lot about the characteristics of polar bears, what polar bears are like. They talk about how much they weigh, um, where they're born, that they're carnivores, what their main source of food is, how they've adapted to cold temperatures and what their skin is like.
Now, let's think. According to the author, why should we learn about bears? Well, let's look. There are many different types of bears. Their habitats, physical features, and temperatures, temperaments vary. It is important to learn about these amazing animals so we can help minimize the impact humans have on them. So why is it important to learn about bears? Well, it's important to learn about bears so we can help minimize the impact humans have on them. Please go into the virtual classroom to take an exit ticket on the questions that we just talked about.